Number 8. This is 1959 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 66 read by PCGS. Doubling is not as evident as in 1969 or 1955 DDO sense, so you'll have to use decent magnifying glass or coin camera microscope to spot it on motto and go we trust and liberty. Most clearly seen on IBE. This lustrous MS-66 red gem with pretty nice eye appeal ended up selling for $822.50. Number 7. Here is 1913 D. Lincoln sent in MS-65 plus red condition. CAC proven superb gem previously from Joshua and Ally Walsh collection. According to NGC, this issue is only moderately scarce in circulated grades, and enough mint state pieces have survived to meet the needs of most collectors. The census data reveal that this is also a relatively plentiful issue in fully red gem condition, something that rarely can be said of mint mark sense dated 1911-15. While fully struck pieces from fresh dyes are scarce, extremely worn dyes are not often seen for 1913-D sense. The reverse dyes may be more worn than their obverse companions, as their use could continue beyond the year in which they were made. MS-66 specimens are considered rare. This MS-65 plus specimen was sold for $3,362.49 with buyer's fee. Number 6. Here is 1994 Lincoln sent with double die reverse. Graded as MS-66 Red FS-801 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a lustrous, pinkish red gem with none but a few extremely minor blemishes scattered about. First reported by James Mattaliano, this DDR of the 1994 Lincoln sent exhibits pronounced doubling to the final three columns on the Lincoln Memorial. This rarity was sold for $2,875. Number 5. This is 1963 D. Lincoln sent in MS-67 red condition. According to Jamie Hernandez from PCGS. The 1963 D. Lincoln sent is the toughest Lincoln sent from 1930 to date to find in MS-66 red condition even tougher than the 1931S in MS-66 Red. The second toughest Lincoln sent in MS-66 Red after 1930, is the 1962D and with the 1973S being the third toughest in MS-66 grades. Most 1963D Lincoln scents are found with nicks, specks, spots and scratches. They are also very weakly struck and are very dull and lackluster in their appearance. A few coins can be found with some decent luster but more than likely, the coin will be plagued by one of the other aforementioned defects. MS-67 specimens are rare and fetch pretty nice premiums. This one was sold for $2,820. Number 4. Here is 1927S Lincoln sent in MS-64 plus red condition. Comes with CAC approval. According to NGC, this is another issue which is typically found from worn dyes, though there are enough well-struck pieces that they may be found with patience. The coin illustrated is reveals a fresh obverse die paired with a moderately worn reverse. Finding a 1927 S scent struck from matching fresh dyes is a rarity, though it seems to be more likely than for the S mint sense of the preceding several years. Fully red examples are very rare, regardless of numeric grade, and these coins tend to have a dull, subdued red color. This one was sold for $7,918.88 with buyer's fee. Number 3. Here is 1981 Lincoln cent struck on a 1981 half dollar. Graded in mint state 64 by PCGS. A one-sided cent strike is centered on the half dollar host coin. The half dollar forms a prominent die cap bowl shape, distorting the reverse design. No element of the reverse Lincoln cent design is present suggesting that this piece was struck between an obverse scent die and a piece of cloth or other material. Satiny surfaces display nickel-gray color. It was sold for $13,200. Number 2. This is 1943's Lincoln scent struck on a Type 1 dime planchet. Circulated error coin in a grade of AU53 given by NGC. Nearly all 1943's scents were struck on zinc-plated steel planchets. A few were struck on copper planchets left over from stock intended for 1,942 dated dies, and those pieces are out of the price range of most collectors. A different wrong planchet error, seen on the present lot, is more collectible. This scent is struck on a 90% silver, 10% copper dime planchet. The planchet never made it through the upset mill, and thus incompletely struck areas of the border are nearly level with the field. The strike is generally sharp, since silver is a soft metal, 
and a dime planchet is only slightly smaller than a cent planchet. It was sold for $14,100. Number 1. This is 1926 S. Lincoln sent in MS-64 plus red condition. According to NGC, the San Francisco Mint registered low mintage numbers for most denominations in 1926, and the reason for this is unknown. Perhaps that facility was undergoing some sort of renovations that year. The typical 1926 S displays poor details from moderately to heavily worn dies on one of both sides. The coin illustrated is truly exceptional in that it was struck with fresh dies. Fully red examples, regardless of grade or strike, are very rare. Most such coins will have subdued shade of red that is nothing like the fiery color of a 1926 P cent. Well-worn examples are common despite the low mintage, as collectors were attracted to this magical number and hoarded every example they could find from the mid-1930s through the 1950s. Pieces in the higher circulated grades are scarce and command good prices. This one was sold for $46,000. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to smash thumbs up and subscribe buttons before you watch another video on YouTube. Until the next time. Stay well.